hey guys welcome to another weight rose shopping haul i haven't done one in a while so this is a new one for you guys so i'm gonna put the prices this all came to 30 pounds by the way before i start all of this is 30 pounds so i've got 20 things for 30 pounds it's actually maybe 22 things for 30 pounds which is quite reasonable um yeah so 20 over 20 20 to 22 stuff i'm not sure i can't remember but it was something like that and for 30 pounds and it's just basic stuff that i need for a couple of days this week because i still have a lot of frozen stuff from my last shop that you guys saw if you haven't checked it out go ahead and check out my iceland shopping haul but let me start over this side as usual i have here some english muffins from weight rose these look really really good gonna have these with eggs gonna have them like for breakfast sandwich in the mornings super easy to make and then i also got some crumpets and these crumpets are quite different to me because i've never had or seen the sourdough crumpets before and i really like sourdough bread so i thought i'll give these a go see how they taste what's the difference between the normal one and the sourdough ones and then i got some french fries I put these in the freezer really quick they're still frozen which is good but i'm gonna see i don't know if i can fry these or they're just oven baked if i can fry them that'll be good because the kids like to well my eldest like to fry some chips i feel like he likes them because they're nice and hot and it's better than putting them in the oven i also got six scotch pancakes these are really good too so i'm gonna be having some pancakes this week some eggs, bacon, maybe not bacon, maybe more sausages. And yeah, so I decided to get some pancakes as well. I also got a bunch of bananas here. They're not ready yet, so I'm going to take them out of the packaging and let them ripe up a bit. And I also got some English Cheesecake Company cheesecake. <laughs> um, so this is the Lotus Biscoff one, which this looks really, really good. Look at that, guys. Oh, my God. I can't wait to have one of these slices tonight, tonight. Um, so this is a vanilla cheesecake with Lotus Biscoff topping. And I feel like it's also the base, the same base. So I love that. I love Lotus Biscoff. I got some cookies the other day in my shopping haul. So to have this is that definitely a little treat for me right now. And I got this here for my salad, a French dressing salad. And it's super, super simple. So that's what I'm going to have with my salad. So let me just show you guys what's in there. It's vegetarian friendly. If you wanted to know if it's vegan friendly, and I also got some herbs. There was one that's missing from here. Um, they didn't get any time. Uh, I wanted some time, but I've got some my mom gave me, so that's good. I wanted some backup, but they are so so good. I love their herbs and stuff. Right, Ray Rose have some really really strong smelling herbs. So I got rosemary. I got some chives for my eggs, omelets and stuff like that and i also got some coriander for my curries and any other thing like that is really really good in curry so i like a little bit of coriander here and there and also some tomatoes for my salad and for my cooking i decided to pick up a golden syrup for my pancakes and anything else that i'm going to be baking as well this week i got a few things i want to bake and i got a one pack of yum yums they have four in here so that's another little treat and then for dinner sometime this week i bought 20 beef meatballs these are half the fat and i it's 20 so i'm going to be using like half of this at a time so that's you know that's more than enough i could use the rest of these to make maybe burgers as well because i could easily squash them together and make like a patty you can definitely do different things with these all right so yeah you don't have to use them as meatballs it's all up to you and then i also wanted to get one of these because my son wanted to try these soups i don't really buy tin soups because i tend to make my own but i've got in my cream of mushroom soup 
And then I got two baby wipes, two fragrance free ones. I decided to get these ones because they had more wipes in them. So 80 is all right for me. Sometimes they have like 60 wipes, but the fragrance free is fine. Um, sometimes it's good to use fragrance free stuff on the kids. And then I got some pak choy. I wanted to make these with my any kind of meat that I'm eating this week. Um, I haven't had pak choy or bak choy in a long time, so I decided to get one of those and I got some water. Finally, um, every time I'm doing shopping online, I can't get any water, but when I do go in store, I do find some water. I'm not sure if water is going low in stock in every supermarket, but I realise that I can't get water all the time, but I've got the big two litre one here. And then I got two bottles of juices. I've got a pineapple juice and I also got a bottle of apple juice. And these are never from Concentrate, meaning that they are straight 100% juice. They're really, really tasty. I really recommend these two juices here. I love the pineapple one. The kids love the apple one. So that's one for each of us. But that's the shopping for this week for now. Anyways, so I'll let you guys know anything else that I do buy if I remember. Because sometimes I forget to do hauls, guys. Not everything that I do record. I do do other shopping and other stuff. But I just don't get to record everything. But when I do, I'll definitely come by and show you guys how easy and affordable you can get stuff and eat throughout the week. You can definitely shop on a budget and get things and fill your tummy, you know. <laughs> Not everybody is balling. But if you want to ball, you can still ball on a budget. But, you know, we still want to eat good and live right and save some money at the same time. So weight growth essential is definitely one I'll definitely recommend to you guys. But they are very affordable in some things. And I'll make sure I put the prices as well because sometimes the price on the packaging is not the same as what it is online. So, yeah, sometimes it's a bit more online, especially when I shop from Deliveroo and places like that. I do get cost a little bit more, which is unfair. But, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I would love to see you guys again. So don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Bye, guys. Take care of yourselves. And, yeah, eat well, live well and stay blessed. Bye.